all right guys i screwed up my video earlier it was a whole unpacking i did like seven boxes um it was five true steel and two raichu gx shining legend boxes that i totally screwed up um didn't hit the record button so it didn't work out too well hooray me right so i'm gonna make up for that also give out all these codes that i was in that video that didn't record and we're gonna do a little grading tutorial slash video i'm gonna prep to send a bunch of cards to hopefully send off to cgc because i think they'll end up being a heavy hitter in the game just like with comics so we'll start off with the stack here um I don't know what order these were in. Some are definitely, a lot are definitely going to be Darkness Ablaze. Um, some Shining Legends, some XY. A couple others that were in the boxes. A couple team up. Um, we're just going to go through these kind of quickly. Since y'all have that pause button feature there. Jeez, how many from the stack did I pull? We're getting close. Probably about four more, five more. And then I'll pull my first card that we're uh, gonna check out together. Stick those right there so I don't mix nothing up. So we're gonna start with this stack first. I did six booster boxes of Darkness Ablaze. <clears throat> so I've got quite a stack. We're gonna start with this little stack here first. So we've got the Crobat V. It is off left to right it's probably about an eighth inch on the right quarter on the or quarter on the right eighth inch on the left up and down looks pretty decent i know this is pack fresh but that doesn't mean nothing flip it over doesn't appear no dings or nothing no whiting um, yeah you can definitely tell the centering it's just slightly bigger here I think it'll probably be about a nine maybe a nine and a half there's no scratches or damage on the hollow itself looks fucking flawless excuse my language go ahead and throw that guy back in here and I would definitely like to give a huge shout out to SME World uh, my last video, I had a miswrap of a gold ducky. I don't know, it wasn't gold, but it was yellow. But it was a rubber ducky, you know. And uh, I let him know, that, hey, you know, you probably miswrapped something, yada, yada, yada. Um, after the video, because I had no clue. Um, huge shout out to him. And what he does at his spot. But he went ahead and refunded me a whole order. He was like, dude, my bad. Um, this That happened once before. Yeah, it was a 400 mystery box. I, I totally get it. So kudos to him. Appreciate it. I'll be back. 
So we got this turbo patch here. Got the rare, the rare gold turbo patch. Let's see. Actually, it looks pretty dang center. Like, like way center. Super center. Flip it over. If anything, it's a sixteenth smaller on this side. Which could ding it. Could ding it. Other than that, though, that card looks pretty good. No, no visible scratches. Scuff marks, anything of that sort. We're going to go ahead and start two piles here. What I think will hit tens. And what I think will hit nines. So we got the Crobat V at a nine, maybe a nine and a half, because that's sittering left to right's a little off. And then tens. First use the turbo patch because that looks pretty pristine. Capture energy. This card is beautiful. I love these goldies. They're amazing. Who doesn't love gold? I mean, come on now. Gold, gold, gold. Left to right looks pretty spectacular. Top to bottom. Looks pretty Gucci. No lighting. Oh, maybe. Okay. Just a little piece of dust. No lighting. Top to bottom, left to right. Centering looks good. Edging looks good. Sorry about that. Face looks good. No whiting. Yeah. Last time I sent some cards in a couple years ago to PSA, I was way off. Let's see, we got the big parasol coming in next. Seems like they were more, more strict with their printing pattern on these gold cards. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Let me know. Oh, left or right. Looks pretty spectacular. Top to bottom. Looks good. So that's part of the card. Yeah. That definitely looks good there. Edging. No whiting on the back. Left to right, top to bottom looks good. I think we may have ourselves another 10 here. Oh, 
computer monitor went out. Can't allow that to happen. Alright, we got the Center Scorch V Max here. Rainbow. Hidden rare, 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 rare. Sorry, it's having a little fun. Definitely like the way these all these rainbow rares look. Um all you can really go off of is here and here. This side looks about a sixteenth bigger. Um top to bottom is gonna be a little hard to tell. We do have lines down here, but up top not so much. The way they print these cards is amazing too. It's like each one has its own fingerprint. Edging. Nothing that I can see. Hello one skin. Definitely not a professional here. Small dink right there. No. Maybe a little mishandling on my part. Other than that though, we're gonna stick this on the tin side too. Bam. All right, we have ourselves here. Pierce Full Art. Right to le left looks off. Left side's definitely uh, probably about an eighth smaller. Top to bottom's off also. Top looks about an eighth smaller. Yeah, really shows visibly on the back. Although, top to bottom, yeah, same thing. Pretty visible here and there. Mm. That, that centering might push it to like an 8.5. But we'll go ahead and still stick it in that pile. Alright, we got this Charizard V here. And this Darkness Ablaze Sleeve. Centering left to right is off. About an eighth smaller here. Top to bottom looks pretty decent though. Minty mint. Edging. Flawless victory. No whiting. Huh, that actually looks pretty decent on the back. We're gonna have to get technical. So Stop touching the car. What about Shh. 
three sixteenths right there. Same. This might be going into the the tenor the tenor pile. And actually we bought some new perfect fit sleeves. So this bad boy's going in. Sorry guys, dog goes a little crazy from time to time. Going in the tenor. Alright guys, it's been about 15 minutes. I'm going to give you a little break. We're definitely not going to go through all of these for sure. Slap you with some more codes real quick. I'm actually quite will be quite surprised if I get this down pretty well. And what I say are tens will mostly hopefully will be tens after taking on some more knowledge of how things are done um, grading systems things like that I was a little naive a couple years ago oh team up team up team up evolutions 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 yeah, some dark, more darkness ablaze, guys. I'm sorry. A lot of darkness ablaze. I think we'll crack into some of the ones I opened today. We'll just do a couple of them. We don't want to get this going too long. There's another one that I want to do. Okay. We'll just do five. How about that? And then I'll dump the rest of the coats on you. Maybe a little more. Maybe I'll sneak in a code after a couple codes after some cards and then we'll break it up a little bit. So I can already tell left or right looks off. Top to bottom looks pretty good. No whiting or spotting. Foil looks pretty awesome. Okay, a little dust there. That too, I should probably, before I send all these off, take a little microfiber cloth, wipe them all down very gently. A uh, little corner damage up there, it just looks like packaging, a little, little bent. Almost looks like on all four corners except for this bottom right one. Centering on that looks pretty good though. Except for the left or right. I'm gonna throw that into the uh, uh, 
um, the nine pile. The niner, niner. And then we got a shiny Volcanian, which left or right looks off. Top to bottom looks off also. No whining on the card. Volcanian looks spectacular. Actually, it looks pretty even in the back. What do you guys think? Maybe a 16th, actually. Yeah. Niner, niner. We're going to go with stack of co cart. Bam. That's it's probably gonna be all almost all darkness ablaze coming in. I can see some burning shadows on the top of the next stack. These all got a little mixed up when I was cleaning up from the video that didn't record. Hooray hooray. Which was no fun. Op sword and shield. Oh. All right, we're gonna do Palkia next. Left or right looks pretty good. Top to bottom. Come on. Your perfect fit sleeve. There we go. Foil itself looks extremely good. Once again, centering looks fucking awesome. Oh, got a dinger up top, two dingers. Dinger and a dinger, yep, you can see that. I wonder if I can get this next one in the camera. Yep, top left. That's going to hurt it. Probably an eight. An 8 with that damage, 7.58. Some burning shadows. Oh, back to the darkness of blaze. Sorry, guys. That was fun while it lasted, wasn't it? Roll with the Zekrom next. Which that's a... Uh, I love this artwork, it's amazing. Couldn't have done any better with this one. Left to right, top to bottom looks good. Although, no whitening or anything that I can see. No dings in this one. Mm. 
almost looked like a little warehouse where yep very faint lines coming down very very faint It. It's in the tenor pile. Raikou here. Top to bottom, left to right looks good. Hollow looks good. No whitening or anything. Edge is good. Yeah, it looks pretty straight. No whitening in the back. I think that's pretty good. We're gonna throw them in the tenor pile. I would like to thank y'all for tuning in, sitting down on this um, 26 to 30 minute venture with me. Um, we're going to give out a bunch more card codes real quick. Um, I would like to do this more often, uh, but as we all know, with Champions of Blaze, or not Champions of Blaze, <laughs> Champions Path coming out. Um, be doing a little bit of saving. I want to try and get three to four ETBs right off the bat. Um, we'll see how that goes. I definitely will be keeping my eye out for Shining Legend packs and stuff like that because I do want to add those to my collection. Um, I am basically starting all over. I have nothing anymore except for what I had bought in the last couple months. Um, so yeah, we doing some mystery Funko boxes because that's I collect those too. I'm a reseller on those. Um, my previous video, I've got my link on the Whatnot app if you'd like to check out what I currently have for sale. Um, but once again, I definitely appreciate all you guys stopping in. Um, I've signed up for the Elite Poke Box also, um, so there'll be a video of that coming probably towards the end of the month. I know they ship them out on the 24th of every month. Um, that's five packs and possibly a chance at a PSA 10. Um, so I'll have 10 packs and two chances. You guys will be some of the first to know what I got. Currently, right now, I'm sorting through all my bulk. I will be listing, hopefully, in the next... By the time I roll out my next Pokemon video, I'll have the bulk sorted and listed on my eBay. I'll drop the link for you guys when that time has come. Um, but until then, collect on. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you all like. And there's definitely a ton more codes to come. Thank you.